the levels of fascism and human rights abuses continue to increase every day in Pakistan. We are deeply concerned about the safety of Imran Khan, Pakistan's most popular political leader, who has not only been arbitrarily imprisoned for more than a year, but now is not being allowed to meet anyone. In this video, we'll give you a rundown of everything that's happening as well as calls to action. For context, Pakistan is currently being ruled by an illegitimate regime that stole the people's mandate and came into power after intense rigging before, during, and after the general elections in the country this February. This regime, consisting of corrupt political and military leaders, has been using any means necessary to crush dissent in the country. This has included placing bans on protests, arresting thousands of peaceful protesters, using tear gas on protesters and even shooting at them, raiding political opponents and activists' homes, demolishing people's homes, illegally abducting activists and their family members, using heavy censorship in the media, implementing internet shutdowns and banning social media platform X and so much more. While the primary group which has been targeted by the suppression has been Imran Khan and his supporters and his PTI party's members due to Khan's widely supported movement for accountability, justice and democracy in Pakistan, the fascist Pakistani regime has had negative impacts on the entire country. From harming the economy through internet shutdowns to oppressing other political groups in Pakistan demanding various rights and freedoms in regions like Azad Kashmir to Balochistan to Khair Pakhtunkhwa. As if all the fascism and human rights abuses that the regime has been using thus far wasn't enough, they are now planning on implementing highly contested changes to Pakistan's constitution, which will allow them to use the legal system to further suppress activists and political opponents. To pass these controversial amendments, the corrupt Pakistani regime has been harassing and abducting parliamentarians and their family members, particularly those affiliated with PTI, in order to force them to vote in its favor. Many human rights groups, bar councils, activists, and PTI itself have strongly opposed these constitutional amendments, and PTI has been holding various protests over the the past few weeks, calling for an end to the fascism which this regime has been using once and for all. Last week, a historic protest was held in the heart of Pakistan's capital, where, despite severe tear gas, firing, and brutality by police and paramilitary forces, BTS supporters continue to stand strong against fascism. But two of Imran Khan's sisters, leaders in his party, and hundreds of his supporters who were peacefully protesting were arrested, and Imran Khan has been banned from meeting his family, party leaders, lawyers, and doctors since then. This is deeply, deeply concerning and a violation of his basic rights. Earlier this year, the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention even released a detailed opinion calling his arrest a violation of international law, and last month, Amnesty International released a statement calling for his immediate release from arbitrary detention too. The corrupt political and military leaders of Pakistan are not only keeping Imran Khan arbitrarily imprisoned, but are further violating his rights by now holding him incommunicado. Imran Khan's supporters are calling for his immediate release and at the very least, for meetings with him to be restored immediately. PTI has also called for another protest in Dichok Islamabad in light of these events. Let it be known that the corrupt, fascist, political, and military leaders in Pakistan are violating the rights of Pakistan's most popular political leader and Pakistanis themselves and have shown time and time again that they will stop at nothing to hold on to their power. We urge Pakistanis to join the protest on October 15th in Islamabad and for Pakistanis around the world to both join protests in your communities where they are being organized and to reach out to your elected representatives and urge them to place pressure on the Pakistani regime to guarantee the democratic rights of all Pakistanis.